Hello everybody. In this video, I am going to show you various styles of Java coding for same application. I will be developing this application by adopting various styles of Java coding. Let us see the application. See, this is having two text fields. And if I click this button, the contents of text fields are swapped. So for developing this application, what all I need is, I need a frame, two labels for first and second, and two text fields, and a button. And on this button, I have to handle a event. The event generated by clicking a button is action event. So I have to implement action listener. So for developing this application, we can adopt various styles. So I'll show you all the styles. Uh, this is the first method. Suppose I have to develop this application. Then I will write a class swap. And inside the main method, I will create the object of frame, labels, text fields, and button, everything frame label text field button and also i will add a listener to handle the event of a ok button this is the first method let us start i am going to write a class swap and this is my main method class one style of developing the application is I'll write everything inside main function so I'll take a frame and the title on that frame is my frame then I take labels I take second label then I take text fields of size 10 I'll take one more text field Of same size then I'll take a button now I have to add all these things to frame so frame dot add label 1 frame dot add text field 1 frame dot add label 2 frame dot add text field 2 frame dot add button all these are added for handling an event I have to add action listener on a button. So I will define an anonymous class for this one. Yeah, here I am going to interchange the contents of text boxes. So temp assign t1 dot get text. T1 dot set text is T2 dot get text. T2 dot set text is temp. A listener is added. On the frame, I have to set layout as new flow layout. Now set the size. then set it visible that's it so let me show you the code what i have written inside a swap class i have a frame then i have two labels then i have two text field and a button these are the things which i require so i have created their objects then on the frame i have added all five things two text fields two labels and a button then on a button i have handled a action event so i have implemented action listener then I have set the layout for frame, set the size and set it visible. This is one method, one style of coding. If I type something here and click, it will interchange the contents. This is the second method. In this, a swap class is extending from frame as well as implementing action listener. And this is having main method also. So I made my own frame class whose name is swap and is also acting as a listener. 
So all the things on the frame like labels, text fields, and button and listener, I will do it inside the swap class. Inside the constructor, I'll take label and text field and button, and I will also add a listener for the button inside the constructor. So this class object is used inside main method. This is second method where the class containing the main method itself is extending from frame and action listener. Now I'll show you second method. I'm defining class called swap. So I will extend same class from frame. So inside the class, I will define the references for label L1 and L2, text field T1 and T2, button B. Now inside the constructor of this class, I will create the objects L1 assign new label, L2 assign new label. T1 new text field, then T2 also same text field, B assign new button. Now, in the beginning of this, I should call superclass constructor and give the title as my frame. Now, I have to add all these things to a frame. So, where is a frame? My swap class itself is a frame. So, I can directly call the method add label 1 add text field 1 everything is added i have to set the layout layout is set on this button i need to handle action event so for that i have to define a class so why to define a separate class inside the swap class itself i will say implements action listener and once i say implements action listener I must override one method action perform. Now inside this method I will write same logic. Then t2 dot set text is a temp. I have to add the listener. So here inside the constructor I'll say b dot add action listener this that is same class right so if you see the code just now i have shown in the main method everything is as it is but i don't have to create an object of frame and i don't have to say f dot here every time because my swap class itself is a frame so inside the constructor i am doing all these things so swap class is having all these things and swap class is also implementing action listener so it also becomes a listener so swap class is a frame as well as action listener now what about the main method i have to write down main method inside the main method i'll create the object of swap and i am taking the name as reference name as f because it's of type frame i have to set its size set size set visible true and i have to close the main method this is the second method see i have a class that is with main method and the class name is swap so this is the main class you can say and this class itself is extending from frame and this class is also implementing action listener and inside the same class i have a main method and that main method is creating the object of same class its own class then setting it visible this is the second method it's working this is the third method for this entire application there is a class my frame class it is extending frame as well as implementing action listener so everything is available in this class only and there is a separate class with main method which is creating the object of this class and using it so entire frame application is in a separate class that is my frame class and main is only to activate it
Now let us see third method. See this main method, I will write it in a class. Main method, I will write it in a class. Public class swap. So this is a swap class, which is a main method. Then what about this, the class which was already swap, so I will change its name. My frame. So the constructor I have to change. My frame. I have to remove public. Only one class can be public in a project. And this here I was creating an object of swap, so now I have to create an object of my frame. That's it. See, this is a class, public class swap, having main method, which is creating an object of frame and setting it visible. And that class frame is here, where everything related to an application is written here so my frame extends a frame and also implements action listener it's having labels text field button and also having a listener so listener is also added so this is the third method let us see it's working this is the fourth method this my frame class is meant for this entire application but earlier in the third method we saw that frame itself was implementing action listener now in this fourth method i have defined a separate inner class for implementing action listener that is my listener and this class will be used by this outer class as a listener for this button so instead of having single class as a frame as well as action listener i have made an inner class as a listener so this works only inside my frame class Next, let us see one more method. See, instead of in making the same my frame class implementing the listener, I'll remove this. And here inside the same class, I will define one more class that is my listener. And that my listener is implementing action listener so it is having action perform method and this class that is my listener class my listener class i have defined inside my frame class and this becomes a inner class so i can use it here inside the outer class that is my frame so i can create the object that is new my listener that's it so this is a frame class. Frame class is having labels, text boxes, and button, everything. And the listener for the button is another class, which is a inner class for my frame. So this is using inner class. Here the application is running. So this was the fourth method. This is the fifth method. I have written a class for frame this one and I have written a separate independent class for listener the problem here is these two are two different classes and this class will be acting as a listener for this button which is present in another class that is my frame so main has to join them create the object of these two and then link them together you can see this in the code how we are linking them together that why to make it as inner class can't I write it as a separate independent class? Yeah, it can be done. But the problem is how this class will access the objects of this class. It cannot access directly. So it will be like two different classes and two different objects. So it will be difficult for us to access this one. Though this way also it can be done, but it is little lengthy. So, okay, let us see what we'll do here is this has to get the text fields of which class? My frame class object. So, here I will take a reference of my frame F 
and I will write down the constructor for this class my listener which will take my frame reference and say this dot f assign f so when you create an object of my listener class you have to pass the object of my frame and here it will be using that my frame f dot this is the fifth method i am showing this is little complex and here i should create an object of my listener also l this my listener will be listening to whom to this frame so pass f as a reference see main method is doing the job main method is creating an object of frame and the main method is also creating an object of listener and to that listener it is giving the frame saying that that listener should handle the event for this particular frame now next one more thing is left here this listener this listener the one which i have created here inside main method the same listener should be called when this button is pressed so i cannot write it like this so i'll remove it then what i should do here i should write one method public void set button listener so here i'll take a listener and i will say b dot add action listener l so i have defined a separate method called set button listener which will set the listener for this button and here inside main method i should call that function on frame frame dot set button listener and this will take the variable l that's it here everything is set let us run this and see yeah it is working so totally i have shown five different methods for developing same application thanks for watching